I figured I'd do just a very short video following up on the restoration of the ICO model 221 vacuum tube voltmeter. The uh, previous videos uh, were a series where I went through and restored this uh, particular model and got it all working and calibrated it. But I thought that it would be interesting to look at this next to a modern DMM and just see how it performs, at least on the DC scales. So what I'm going to do here is uh, I've got a uh, Amprobe model AM570 DMM. It has approximately 10 megohms input impedance on DC. And I've got this, uh, I've got both meters hooked up uh, in parallel to a uh, DC voltage supply. And I'm just going to start increasing the voltage. Uh, the ICO, let's set that on the five volt scale and we'll start increasing. And we're going to go up now. Uh, so that is half a volt being measured on the ICO and the Amprobe measures 0 0.45 volts. Now the coded accuracy of the ICO for DC is 3% of full scale deflection. It's 5% on AC. So 3% uh, on the five volt scale would be uh, 150 millivolts, 0 0.15 volts. So uh, that means then that if I just increase this a little bit so that the DMM reads 0.5, if I don't overshoot, that's pretty close. That means that the ICO should be reading anywhere between a maximum of 0 0.650 and 0 0.350 volts. And we see that that's absolutely true on the ICO. So let's just keep going up now to... Uh, Two and a half volts. So there's two and a half volts on the ICO scale and 2.4, call it five volts on the Amprobe. Very good. And then we'll go to full scale here at five volts. We can go a little bit further actually. Okay, so there's five volts on the ICO and 5.04 volts on the Amprobe. Outstanding. So now let's go to the 10 volt scale. And you can see here we're reading 5.2 volts on the ICO instead of five volts. Is that in spec? Well, on the 10 volt scale, now the uh, you will double the magnitude of the uncertainty. So it'll be accurate to within three tenths of a volt. And 5.2 is less than 5.3. So this meter is within spec on the 10 volt scale as well. But let's just see if that improves as we kind of go up. So let's go up to nine volts. So there's really close to nine and it looks bang on. This meter appears to be more accurate for the higher voltages within each scale. And And we just had a, an auto power off moment. Let's go up here now to 10 volts. So there's 10 volts and you can see that we're just a hair under 10 on the ICO. Now we're at 10 on the ICO and it's 10.06 volts. Let's move up to the 100 volt scale. 10 volts should be one on that lower black scale and it is. So we're very good there. And I'm going to stop it now at 20 volts. There we go, just a shade over two. And I'm going to keep going up now. And I'm going to run out of voltage here on my power supply. But we'll stop it at 36 and just see where we are on the ICO. And in, on the ICO, we're at three, two, four, six. So we're at 36 volts on the ICO. So uh, just a, a short uh, demonstration to show that uh, these old instruments were uh, capable of, of quite good performance. 
uh, nothing compared to the modern DMMs. Although, I will say that the accuracy of the AM probe is you know, on the order of 1% on, on DC. Uh, but, of course, we can do much better. We can get down to a tenth or a hundredth of a percent, um, generally in proportion to the amount of money that you spend on your DMM. All right. I hope you found this useful. If so, please give it a big thumbs up below. Thanks for watching.